the word of God is important and deserves respect. And that's the reason why I read these chapters word for word to the best of my ability in my playlist. But we're doing a recap just so that we all can be on the same page of understanding of what we've read. So in chapter 14 of Genesis, there was a war between five kings on one side, right? And four kings on the other side. These five kings had Sodom and Gomorrah on this side, right? The four kings had Chitalamer on this side, right? So they get into a battle in the Vale of Siddim. And then there's slime pits in the Vale of Siddim. So these five, they lose the battle, okay? So Chitalamer and them, they take the women the goods, and Lot, okay? So somebody gets free, and they go and tell Abram, uh, yeah, Chitalam or them, they got Lot. Okay, so Abram arms his slaves, and they go to get Lot back, right? They dominate, they conquer, they get Lot back, they get the women back, they get the goods back, and when they get back, the king of Sodom, the kings of Sodom is like, oh, okay, look, bet. how about you just give me the people and you take the goods for yourself? And Abram's like, listen, I've already lifted up my hands and made a vow to the Lord that I don't, I won't take nothing from you, not down to a shoelace, okay? Abram said he wouldn't take nothing because you'll never get the opportunity to say that Abram is rich because of me. No, just the stuff that was eaten and the men that came with me, give them their portion, that's it. In Genesis chapter 15, the Lord came to Abram in a vision and he said, Fear not, Abram, for I'm your shield and your great reward. And Abram said, I don't have an heir. And the Lord let him know, you will have an heir from your own bow. Look toward the heaven. And the the way them stars is numbered, that's how your, your seed is going to be numbered. And Abram believed it and it was counted unto him as righteous. And then after that, the Lord let him know, I am the Lord that brought you out of Ur of the Chaldees, and this land is yours. And so Abram was like, how am I supposed to know that this land is mine? He was like, get this animal, this animal, this animal. If you go back and look at 15, you'll see all the animals. And he had to lay them out. And then as the sun went down, Abram went into a nightmare. So in chapter 15, verse 12, Abram went to sleep and had that nightmare. In chapter 15, verse 13, the Lord is letting Abram know that his seed will be strangers in the land and serve people for 400 years. But God will judge the people that his seed has to serve and his seed will come out with great substance. Also in chapter 15, the Lord let Abram know he will be buried in a good old age. And he also made a covenant with Abram, letting him know all of the land that he was giving to Abram's seed. In Genesis chapter 16, we see that Sarai has still bare Abram no children. And remember in chapter 12, verse 16, Pharaoh gave Abram manservants and maidservants for Sarai. So Sarai uses one of her Egyptian handmaidens to get pregnant by Abram, her husband, because back then that would mean it would be her baby because it's her slave that got pregnant by her husband so anyway he goes into her he can she conceives when she sees that she's conceived she's acting in some sort of way towards Sarai, and Sarai is not feeling it she says something to abram abram's like listen that's your servant so you treat her how you want to treat her and Sarai must have been quite harsh with her because um, Hagar decided to leave towards the wilderness and when she left and the angel of the Lord found her in the wilderness, the angel of the Lord talked with her and then told her to go back to Sarai and submit herself and he comforted her, letting her know that the Lord heard her cry and you're going to have a son and you're going to name him Ishmael. So right now we see that Abram has one son named Ishmael by his wife's servant, Hagar. In Genesis chapter 17, the Almighty God came to Abram and told him he will be a father of many nations. And his name was no longer Abram, but he is Abraham. He explained to him that there was a covenant between him, God, the Almighty God, and Abraham. 
and Abraham was to perform circumcisions for everyone born in his house or bought with his money. And he goes into good detail in chapter 17. He also told him that Sarai, his wife, was no longer Sarai. She's Sarah. And she was going to give him a son named Isaac. And his seed and this covenant would be established with Isaac. And after the conversation that Abraham and God had, Abraham went and circumcised himself at 99 years old. His son Ishmael, who was already born to Hagar, at 13 years old and every male that was born in his house or bought with his money that very same day that he made the covenant with God.